Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. Going to do um, my Northern Mug box, Northern Mug subscription box from February, the end of February. This landed about the 29th, I think it was, 28th, 29th of, of Feb. Um, I'm just getting around to doing it now because I had a bit of a stockpile of beers. <coughs> As you can see, if you've been watching regularly, you'll see the content. Um, I have had a bit of a downer on Northern Mug since probably since before Christmas last year to be fair with their supermarket beers and the stuff that they were putting out in the subscription boxes and I was to and fro as to whether to keep it or get rid of it and I'm still debating I, and I'm gonna, I think I'm going to take it month by month and I think if it's, if the beers look beers are crap and they start to get consistently crap in, this, in the box then I will get rid I, but at the moment I'm going to keep it because it's, I'm guaranteed six beers for the channel and, and it keeps me up to date what more than one could do. Anyway, I'm going to rattle through what's in the box and um, we'll go from there, okay? And then obviously we'll do one out of the box today. Now normally we get, there we have some six beers, normally we get a little card, like a little crib sheet card that tells you what the beers are, what hops are in the beer, um, stuff like that. But they didn't put it in this box, they forgot. Or there was an error and it went back from the printers in time or something like that. We got an email anyway, and it's on this email. I haven't even looked at it, right, but I know it's there. So anyway, we have a little rattle through what we've got here. So we've got, um, starting off, we've got a whole lot of faith. This is a double IPA, 8.4%. Here we go. So look forward to doing that. So that's a good start, a double IPA. Um, we've got this one called, it's Patrons, um, community beer this is called you have to pay the cheese tax there we go have a little again have a little look at that it's a west coast ipa at 6.9 one of my favorite styles so that's two ticks we've got this patient's project 3606 and this is an ipa coming in at 6.7 percent this is one of the chris simpson's um beers this is called wolf sucks so you know it's a February box because there's Valentine's stuff in it. Um, we've got this one, which is Stacks. It's a maple, blueberry and bacon pancake porter. This comes in at 6% ABV. Okay. We've got the second Fresh From series. This is this replaced the old Flax Store series, the old Flax Store Sessions. We replaced it with this, Fresh From. And it's a hop-focused beer. It's a um, Mosaic Incognito Centennial Cascades, it's the IPA series, 5.3. And then the one that we're going to review, and probably the one that scares me, is this. So let me just put this box to one side and we'll get stuck into this. This is Northern Monks Fantastic. It's a fizzy lemon pale. And lemon is L I M O N, lemon. It says, get your towel on the lounger, your hot dog, your hot dog legs in shot and crack open a can. <sighs> okay. It's 4% ABV. I said it's a lemon pale. Now, I'm wondering, with it saying fantastic, if this has got that phantasm um, hop powder in it, the one that everyone seems to be using that enhances the flavour of hops. Um... It may not, because it doesn't say anything on the can, and but it may say something on the on the email. I'll have a little look, and I'll get back to you on that one. Um, best before on this one is the twentieth of August, twenty twenty four. Says that on the bottom. That for me looks very similar to a kind of lemon Fanta, and I think that's what they were going for. Um, have they made this too early? Because for me, this could be a summer beer. Um, and they're bringing it out in what, the February box, so it's a little bit early. Anyway, let's pop a top on this and let's see what we've got. I don't hold out much hope for this at 4%. We could end up with five good beers and one absolute crud. Anyway, so this pours hazy straw yellow 
There we go. Um, beer and glass, we've got just under a finger of um, bright white head. There is a lot of carbonation on that glass. It is hazy. Um, what you're seeing, the colour of the, of the beer is pretty similar to what, I, what I'm seeing. Um, it's a hazy orange, orange colour. Right, let's get the nose so we can smell. Light, light citrus. Probably about it. Light citrus. Mm. Don't tell me to start it off with a crap one. Anyway, let's go for the body and carbonation. Cheers. Body is light, carbonation is light, soft. It's there, it fizzes, but it doesn't do much. Um, let's go for the big taste. Cheers. No, 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 no. It's earthy with a hint of metallics. It's dry at the back end. There's a very, very light hit of lemon on this. And it is super light. It's not good. <sighs> Off to a bad start for this month with Northern Monk. <sighs> it's awful. It's a shocker. It is an absolute shocker. It tastes of, of very little. It ain't fantastic. It's fan fucking awful. Um, you know, these this box sets me back just shy of 30 quid for six beers that's five quid a go that is not a five pound beer not at all it's not even a three pound beer you're taking the piss northern monk you're taking the piss stick this in your supermarket charge two pound fifty three pound three pound fifty three seventy five call them what you want this is a supermarket beer and it's a bad supermarket beer at that as a subscriber, I expect top, top quality beer, not shit in my subscription box. And there'll be loads of people who get this, who get this, who don't do this type of stuff, and they'll be sitting there thinking exactly the same thing. It's I've said it once, I'll say it again, it's ruining your reputation. Now I put on about uh, one of the um supermarket beers. I said to ruin reputation. Somebody posted, I don't know if it was on here, or it was on Instagram, or if it was on TikTok, it was on one or the other, one of the two. And it's not ruining reputation, they're making gimmick beers. Yeah, but if it's a gimmick beer, it's still a shit gimmick beer. The shit beer is still a shit beer. Whatever you put in the can, you can gimmick all up you want. That can look like, I say, it looks like a lemon Fanta. What you're putting in is still crap. It's very similar to when I had my rant about Glen Affleck, when Glen Affleck were doing all the, the, the brown, the, the, the um, chocolate orange and chocolate mint. The base was shit, and then they were still putting adjuncts in it. This is shit, and I'm getting, I'm, I'm, again, this is one, and one step closer to bidding this, bidding this beer box off. I am getting to the point where I'm fucking fed up with it. You message them, your beer is shocking, you don't get anything back. I put on, onto TikTok, because obviously I've got a TikTok channel, if you haven't seen it, get on it, it's Beer Dad's Beer News on TikTok. 
I did a um, horde versus heathen, and I went off on one. You've seen the probably seen the video of this. They got back to me. Then, oh no, no, heathen's going nowhere. Horde is replaced with a heretic. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We don't set the prices in the supermarket. It doesn't matter. You're putting shit beer into supermarkets. You put now putting shit beer into a box. Last month, the January one, we had um, two AF beers. I understand that we need to make, they need to make um, alcohol-free stuff. I totally get that. But they were pants. January box was pants. And this is pants. It's terrible. It's terrible. I'm going to throw it down the sink. I'm not drinking that at all. It's a, and then another Northern Monk abomination of a beer. And if Northern Monk are watching, sort your shit out. Because this is becoming intolerable anymore. Intol intolerable. Intolerable. You're going to lose subscribers over this. Furious. The other five better be better. If they're not, then I'm done. I know I've said this before, but genuinely I'm done. Five out of six, you can take go, okay, I'll, I'll keep it going. But if it gets any less than that, that's I'm out of here. And I know my mate Kev, Kev Skinley, does the same box as me. He's cancelled his because he just had, he'd, he'd had enough. And I thought, oh, I've got six, six beers going to the channel. But when you get, that's awful. Awful. I'm furious, as you can tell. Sick and tired of it. Sick and tired of it. 30 quid for six beers. And they, they give you that. You want quality. I want quality. I don't want pale ales. I don't want 4% beers. I want... IPAs, double IPAs, triple IPAs, stouts, imperial stouts, and yes, I know it's cost. I know it's the tax on high ABV beers. I understand that. But to put that in a box and think it's acceptable is wrong. Anyway, we'll wrap this review up. This is another Monk's fantastic fizzy lemon pale. Do I like it? I'd rather, rather chew my own eyes. Will I buy it again? No. Will they recommend to friends? No. It's a poor, at best, it's a poor supermarket beer. If you've had this, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. I will put a link to another Monk website in the description box, as per usual. Do that for the video. Do that if you don't. Subscribe down there. What a waste. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, Leo.